the top 10 ingenious inventions that are about to change the world. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. I bet a lot of us has had the crazy thought about the most impossible things that could ever happen in this world. It's pretty okay to have such thoughts run through your mind. In fact, some folks we call inventors have at some point had such wild, crazy, impossible thoughts, and a few of them have even been able to turn those thoughts to what I call ingenious inventions. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 of the most ingenious inventions that have made history. But before we proceed, I'd like you to quickly smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, as it's just getting interesting. Let's count down from number 10. Artificial Eyes Bionic eyes have been a mainstay of science fiction for decades, but now real-world research is beginning to catch up with far-sighted storytellers. A raft of technologies is coming to market that restores sight to people with different kinds of vision impairment. In January 2021, Israeli surgeons implanted the world's first artificial cornea into a bilaterally blind 78-year-old man. When his bandages were removed, the patient could read and recognize family members immediately. The implant also fuses naturally to human tissue without the recipient's body rejecting it. Likewise, in 2020, Belgian scientists developed an artificial iris fitted to smart contact lenses that correct a number of vision disorders, and scientists are even working on wireless brain implants that bypass the eyes altogether. Researchers at Montage University in Australia are working on trials for a system whereby users wear a pair of glasses fitted with a camera. This sends data directly to the implant, which sits on the surface of the brain and gives the user a rudimentary sense of sight. Number 9. Airports for Drones and Flying Taxis Our congested cities are in desperate need of a breather, and relief may come from the air as opposed to the roads. Plans for a different kind of transport hub, one for delivery drones and electric air taxis, are becoming a reality with the first urban airport receiving funding from the UK government. It's being built in Coventry. The hub will be a pilot scheme and hopefully a proof of concept for the company behind it. Powered completely off-grid by a hydrogen generator, the idea is to remove the seed for as many delivery vans and personal cars on our roads, replacing them with a clean alternative in the form of a new type of small aircraft, with designs being developed by Hyundai and Airbus, amongst others. Infrastructure is going to be important. Organizations like the Civil Aviation Authority are looking into the establishment of air corridors that might link a city center with a local airport or distribution center. Number 8. Smart Sutures That Detect Infections How does a doctor know when a patient's wound is infected? Well, they could wait for the patient to start displaying signs of an infection, or they could talk to a high school student from Ohio who's developed an ingenious and life-saving invention. At the age of 17, Dacia Taylor invented sutures that change color from bright red to dark purple when a wound becomes infected, detecting a change in the skin's pH level. When the wound from an injury or surgery becomes infected, its pH rises from 5 to 9. Taylor found that beetroot juice naturally changes color at a pH of 9 and used that as a dye for suture material. While other solutions are available, smart sutures coated with a conductive material can sense the status of a wound by changes in electrical resistance and send a message to a smartphone. Number 7. Energy Storing Bricks Scientists have found a way to store energy in the red bricks that are used to build houses. Researchers led by Washington University in St. Louis and Missouri, U.S. have developed a method that can turn the cheap and widely available building material into smart bricks that can store energy like a battery. Although the research is still on the proof of concept stage, the scientists claim that walls made of these bricks could store a substantial amount of energy and can be recharged hundreds of thousands of times within an hour. The researchers developed a method to convert red bricks into a type of energy storage device called a supercapacitor. This involved putting a conducting coating, known as PDOT, onto brick samples, which then seeped through the fired brick's porous structure, converting them into energy-storing electrodes. Iron oxide, which is the red pigment in the bricks, helped with the process, the researchers said. Number 6. Sweat-Powered Smartwatches 
Engineers at the University of Glasgow have developed a new type of flexible supercapacitor, which stores energy, replacing the electrolytes found in conventional batteries with sweat. It can be fully charged with as little as 20 microliters of fluid and is robust enough to survive 4,000 cycles of the types of flexes and bends it might encounter in use. The device works by coating polyester cellulose cloth in a thin layer of a polymer, which acts as the supercapacitor's electrode. As the cloth absorbs its wearer's sweat, the positive and negative ions in the sweat interact with the polymer surface, creating an electrochemical reaction which generates energy. Conventional batteries are cheaper and more plentiful than ever before, but they are often built using unsustainable materials which are harmful to the environment, says Professor Ravendir Dahia, head of the Bendable Electronics and Sensing Technologies Best Group, based at the University of Glasgow's James Watt School of Engineering. That makes them challenging to dispose of safely and potentially harmful in wearable devices where a broken battery could spill toxic fluids onto the skin. What we've been able to do for the first time is show that human sweat provides a real opportunity to do away with those toxic materials entirely with excellent charging and discharging performance. Number 5. Self-Healing Living Concrete Scientists have developed what they call living concrete by using sand, gel, and bacteria. Researchers said this building material has structural load-bearing function, is capable of self-healing, and is more environmentally friendly than concrete, which is the second most consumed material on Earth after water. The team from the University of Colorado Boulder believe their work paves the way for future building structures that could heal their own cracks suck up dangerous toxins from the air, or even glow on command. Number 4. Living Robots Tiny hybrid robots made using stem cells from frog embryos could one day be used to swim around human bodies to specific areas requiring medicine or to gather microplastic in the oceans. These are novel living machines, said Joshua Bongard, a computer scientist and robotics expert at the University of Vermont, who co-developed the millimeter-wide bots, known as xenobots. They're neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. It's a new class of artifact, a living, programmable organism. Number 3. Tactile Virtual Reality Researchers from Northwestern University have developed a prototype device which aims to put touch within VR's reach using a flexible material fitted with tiny vibrating components that can be attached to skin. The system, known as Epidermal VR, could be useful in other cases as well, from a child touching a display, relaying the gesture to a family member located elsewhere, to helping people with amputations renew their sense of touch. In gaming, it could alert players when the strike occurs in the corresponding body part of the game character. The team's design features 32 vibrating actuators on a thin 15cm by 15cm silicone polymer which sticks onto the skin without tape or straps and is free of large batteries and wires. It uses Near Field Communication Technology or NFC which is used in many smartphones for mobile payment today to transfer the data. The result is a thin, lightweight system that can be worn and used without constraint indefinitely, says Professor John A. Rogers, who worked on the project. Scientists hope that the technology could eventually find its way into clothing, allowing people with prosthetics to wear VR shirts that communicate touch through their fingertips. Number 2. Heart Monitoring T-Shirt Wearable sports brands that measure your heart rate are nothing new, but as numerous studies have shown, the accuracy can vary wildly, especially if you rely on them to count calories. In general, that's fine if you just want an idea of how hard you're working out, but for professionals, accuracy is everything. Using a single LED expanded color gamut printed into the fabric, this new t-shirt from smart materials company Chimera will accurately measure heartbeats and upload them to the cloud via Bluetooth. Once there, algorithms process the data to accurately detect irregular heartbeats, such as arrhythmia heartbeats, which could prove life-saving. And it's not just athletes who could benefit. The possibilities this product offers both sports people and the general public is astonishing, says Tim Brownstone, CEO and founder of Chimera. 
we envisage developing this product to be used for clinical applications to allow those who may already suffer with heart conditions enough warning of a heart attack. This brings us to the final ingenious invention for today. Internet for everyone. Hyper micro satellite. Yeah. We can't seem to live without the internet. How else will you stock your ex with the comfort of your couch? But still only around half the world's population is connected online. There are many reasons for this, including economic and social reasons. But for some, the internet just isn't accessible because they have no connection. Google is slowly trying to solve the problem using helium balloons to beam the internet to inaccessible areas, while Facebook has abandoned plans to do the same using drones, which means companies like Hyber are stealing a march. They've taken a different approach by launching their own network of shoebox-sized microsatellites into low Earth orbit, which wakes up a modem plugged into your computer or device when it flies over and delivers your data. Their satellites orbit the Earth 16 times a day and are already being used by organizations like the British Antarctic Survey to provide internet access to very extremes of our planet. Well folks, this is where we draw the curtain for today. Hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Before you go, kindly leave a like so you never miss out on our juicy topics. Bye for now.